I've got the crank out of that Royal Enfield Series 2 interceptor engine now and uh, cleaned it up a little bit. I've also fought and sworn at the uh, little end plug plugs here. These uh, There's not actually a sludge trap as such in these because you've got the uh, inline full flow pressure side felt filter on the end fields but it's still worth getting these plugs out and checking for any dirt in there and cleaning it out and after a lot of effort I first of all got one out uh, without too much difficulty but the other one was harder but basically these are aluminium and a way to get them loose or help get them loose if you've got access to a propane torch a gas torch something that can get things pretty hot pretty quickly is warm the plug up and this up get it nice and hot don't turn it blue or anything of course but get it really hot and then let it all cool down because what will happen is the aluminium would like to expand more than the forged steel crank will expand and it's got nowhere to go so it sort of almost compresses itself a little if you like and by the time you let everything cool down or help it cool down in a bit of uh, cold water or whatever after a while I wouldn't plunge it straight into cold water after heating it but when it's you know when it's perhaps still a little bit too hot to touch you can put it in the cold water to cool it off and it seemed to be the case with both of these that they undid quite easily after that because they'd expanded they had nowhere to go as such so they sort of almost compressed themselves a bit and when everything cooled down that made them an easier fit and I got them out and uh, there's what I got out of the core of the, the crank that hard sort of almost like graphite like stuff so uh, all that in there now is clean and uh, the big ends and the journals the shells and the journals are very good and they're on standard size and they're in very good condition as well so uh, it's sort of tempting to put them back in and the reason for that is if this engine has stood idle for about 30 years doing nothing there's a good chance that these won't have been made in some dubious factory where they might make sort of uh, very low quality crap shall we say I would imagine that these are probably the genuine article and are probably good to go for many thousands of miles again so I'm tempted to keep them in I will make inquiries to see if I can get some good ones new um, like I say we're on standard size look at that looks like they've hardly done anything and there was no excessive play in the big ends or anything it's very very tempting to put them back in but uh, we're down to the crank I need to decide whether I'm going to fit new shells or reuse them get some new main bearings because they were knackered they were rusty and seized up and then uh, I can think about putting this lot back together and building up a half decent engine with any luck